I'm honestly so excited to be making this video and this is my 100 platinum collection video. All of my 100 platinums that I have earned over the last 12 to 13 years. Very inconsistent trophy hunting admittedly but we are here. As you can see down there 7,298 trophies, 100 platinums, 400 and 34 trophy levels. I uh, Yeah, so let's just get into it. So here we are at the bottom of my trophy list. The very bottom. The first game I ever earned trophies on. I don't think that's technically true actually, but regardless. 2009, you'll see some different dates. I'm not going to go through every single game in detail because there's like 320 of them. But here we are, back in the day. 2009, uh... Yeah, you will see throughout my trophy collection spat. So sometimes there'll be one platinum, then sometimes there'll be seven in a row and then nothing for ages. But we're going to quickly just crack through all of these. I'm going to stop at this game really quick, GTA 4. As you can see, it doesn't have a date on. That's how long ago I earned that trophy. We're jumping through. There's a lot of just low percentages until we get to my first ever platinum, The Walking Dead. This was actually a complete accidental platinum. I didn't realise there was a platinum. I just played the game. I saw PewDiePie play it and I wanted to play it. And there we go. My first ever one was on the 28th of January, 2013. As I said, I'm not going to show you every single platinum in detail. We're just going to jump through the next 30 or 40 or 50 really quickly just to get them out of the way. And then we'll get into the more recent. Then we had Saints Row the 3rd, Assassin's Creed 2, Mafia 2, Terminator Salvation, and nothing for a while. Then Need for Speed Rivals, Infamous First Light, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. As you can see, we're already at the PS4 games. Mad Max, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, UFC 2, Tabletop Race and World Tour, a really fun game, I recommend playing it. Battlefield Hardline, Far Cry Primal, The Escapist, Far Cry 3, fantastic game again. South Park, The Stick of Truth, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, Assassin's Creed Unity, Watch Dogs 1, Watch Dogs 2, Battlefield 1, Ghost Recon Wildlands, Mortal Kombat X, The Division, Ikemo, Splinters of Dark Shard. That's actually a little indie game. Actually a lot of fun. Didn't realise there was a platinum for that one either. Saints Row Get Out of Hell. Game of Thrones. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Neva Speed Payback. Horizon Zero Dawn. One of my all-time favourite games. GTA 5. Far Cry 4. South Park. The Fractured Butthole. Batman. Madden 18. My Name is Mayo. Rhyme. Assassin's Creed Origins. Battlefield 4. Infamous Second Son, A Way Out, 36 Fragments of Midnight, Dying Light, Life is Strange, Slide. So that was my first real bulk, as you saw. Let's just go back there. You can see that is my first real bulk. Some fun ones, uh, some easy ones, and some more challenging ones there, as well as some games that you can see that I just played for fun during the time. So we've already jumped forward five years to now 2018, where I earned Marvel's Spider-Man. Fantastic game. I loved it. And then nothing for quite a while, until we get to Madden 20, where I played that as well. And then again, some nothing. But now we're already at 2019, where we've got Conan Exiles, Ink Explosion, Jack and Jill, D DX, which is a really shameful game. Midnight Deluxe, another shameful one. Then we've got Need for Speed, a game that I absolutely loved. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Tempted to do that again for the PS5 because I love that game so much. As well as Goat Simulator 1. Got the Mortal Kombat 11 Platinum there, which that's for the PS4. It also done up for the PS5, which is there is a video for that on my channel if you guys want to go and check that out. So now we're to 2020 in the last three years with Far Cry 5. Uh, not a game that I enjoy too much, but it is what it is. Still a Platinum Trophy. Uh, and Far Cry is always fun, but I just felt like 5 was too big. Then we've got Assassin's Creed Odyssey, a big game, as well as Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Far Cry New Dawn, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, My Name is Mayo 2. Now we hit the PS5, Astro's Playroom, Rocket League, which I had got long ago, but because I got a recent trophy, I think, for the DLC. Yeah, I played that back in 2015. Then we've got Rainbow Six Siege, which I got actually in one second. I loaded the game up on a PS5 and pop the platinum went like that so yeah that was a one second platinum i'd say here now 2021 is where i really start to hit my stride with a lot of good games a lot of fun platinums and a lot of platinums in general we've got the escapist 2 with 0.1 percent of players actually earning that that was a ton of fun pretty challenging but a really good game then we've got days gone a criminally criminally underrated game just absolutely sensational i loved every moment of that game fantastic then we've got need for speed heat Wreckfest, another fantastic game, and Marvel's Spider-Man, um, Miles Morales, sorry, fantastic game, 6.1%, a lot of people have that platinum, and it's because the game is so much fun. And one of my favourite games as well, Ghost of Tsushima, absolutely just fantastic game, I, I really, you, I could not sing this game's praise high enough, there is a reason that it's got 9% of plat uh, platinum earners, because the game is fantastic. Then you can see a couple of like little free games that I never really like played too much or put much time into, a couple of online games, then we've got Watch Dogs Legion, a game that I did not enjoy, House Flipper, a game that I loved, 
And then again, we hit another little bit of a stride here. So we've got Watch Dogs Legion, House Flipper. Then we've got Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm not doing the DLC ever. 1.9% uh, of people have this Platinum. Uh, just an insanely big game. Even the developers said the game was too big. The combat was relatively fun, but for me, not a game that I uh, really enjoyed that much and not an Assassin's Creed that I would recommend to anybody. Then we've got Deathloop, a game that I just, again, found tons of fun. If you guys haven't played this or haven't got the Platinum, I recommend it. It does take a lot of getting used to. The first, like, 20 hours is getting used to. Then the final 10 is earning all the trophies and getting the Platinum. Then we've got Dirt 5. This was a free game that I just started playing and then all of a sudden had the Platinum, really. It doesn't take long at all. It's got 21 trophies. And now we are in 2022 with Ghost of Tsushima again on the PS5. A fantastic game. Played it through again and got the Platinum. Then we've got Outriders and Man Eater. This was another free game on PS Plus. As you can see, I got the game and got the first trophy in 2021. Uh, played a little bit and then I didn't play again until uh, the 11th of July. Where I then smashed through the entire game in one day and got the Platinum that quickly. It was, it was tons of fun. Uh, the game is stupid, but it's really actually enjoyable. Then we've got SpongeBob SquarePants, Bottle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydration, an actual fun game. My name is Mayo3, I know, a bit of a shameful one. Riders Republic, Minecraft, this is a really old platinum, but I got a DLC trophy recently, so it popped up again, as you can see. Got that platinum in 2015. But this is where we've hit the recent stride of mad platinum earning, especially for this channel. We've got Riders Republic, we've got Minecraft, we've got Toem, I don't even know how to pronounce that. A fun game, I actually have an entire video made for this game, but I've never posted it. I don't know if you guys want to see it. Uh, it's kind of a fun video, but I don't know if you guys want to see it, so I haven't actually posted it um, yet. I don't know if I ever will, to be honest. Then we've got Skater XL, which you guys have also seen. Another game that I started, when did I start this? 2020. And that took me two years to get the Platinum on it. And then again, another video that I've put up is the Star Wars Battlefront 2 trophies, where I started that in 2018 and finally finished it four years 22. Then we've got Super Hot, another fantastic game, 0.2%. Not surprised, it's actually relatively challenging for people that don't want to put in the time just because of all of the challenges you need to do. Then we've got uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune Remastered with a 1.3%. I obviously started that on Crushing, done all the treasures in one playthrough, and then done the miscellaneous and all the little speed runs. Tons of fun. Then we've got the Canis Canum Edit, or as we all know it, Bully. With 3.3% uh, platinum. Tons of fun. Uh, this was another game I want to say I started back in the day. But I don't... Did I ever get a trophy for it back in the day? Let me see if I can find a trophy that maybe I got. Oh yeah, there we go. The 27th of January 2022. And I platted it. On the 7th of December 2022. So it literally took me 12 months because I played it for one day and never played it again. And then I just smashed it through for the Platinum. Then we've got my Mortal Kombat 11 Platinum for the PS5. Tons of fun, 0.3%. Relatively rare. Difficult game to do. The the tutorials hold people back. They are a nightmare. A proud moment, but Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. A game I just couldn't get into. A game that I wasn't very good at. Uh, so I had to give up on that one. And then we've got Biomutant. You guys have all seen the video for that. Uh, really interesting game i have to say while i didn't enjoy going for the platinum and i think people mistake people seem to with that video 99 percent of people understood why the platinum was painful for me but one percent seemed to think it's because i hated the game the gameplay is stale but the reason i hated it is because i'd done it in nine hours i'd done it to myself people think i was blaming the game i platted the entire game in nine hours of total gameplay it recommends that it takes 20 to 30 i done it in nine i put myself through hell for that video to get this platinum because i was going away the next day that's why i put myself through hell until four in the morning playing the game so i think people think that i hated the game i didn't hate the game i found it very stale and the dialogue boring but as a whole the game wasn't terrible for a free playstation plus game then we've got Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, another fantastic Uncharted game with a 2% Platinum. Again, i done it on Crushing in one go and got all the, the treasures. And then we've got Stray, a fantastic game. Probably one of my favourite Platinums that I've ever done. Absolutely just incredible, sensational game, except for when it kept shutting my PS5 off and I was crapping my pants. We've got Goat Simulator 3, a video that on my channel done really well and I don't know why because it's so random. A game that is just full of memes. This entire game is one big meme, but it's great the, the game is just hilarious and i i honestly really enjoyed this one we've got anthem a game that i did not enjoy and it seems that me and most of the people watching that anthem video felt the same it was supposed to be epic the 
dev team and the supporting team let the game down and it eventually failed and crumbled upon itself. But another game that I played back in 2019 in February and didn't pass it until the 1st of January 2023, so nearly five years later. Then we've got the uh, Ezio trilogy that I recently done for a video, Assassin's Creed 2. I done this in two days. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood I then did in three days and Assassin's Creed Revelations I did in three days. A total of 83 hours over eight total days. Tons of fun, enjoyed the entire trilogy, have no real complaints about it. Then we've got Saints Row with Platinum 99. I done this in, I want to say, three days. I'm not too sure. Let's have a quick look when the first trophy was. The 18th for the first, the 17th for the first. So I did it in four days. Not a bad Platinum, 1.3%. Overall, the game was not that fun. Bit of a letdown to the Saints Row series, but it's what it is. And finally... We've smashed through my 100 Platinum collection pretty quickly. I didn't want to make like, I could have made like a, an hour long video. I didn't want to do that for you guys. I want to quickly snap through them so you guys get to see the entire Platinum list in one go. But here we are, Platinum 100. Trophy level 434, 7,298 total trophies. As you guys saw, there was tons of games that were between 1% and 70%. Like 200 of my games are between that percentage. And there's only 100 of them, give or take, that have 100% and all the Platinum. And the final one, Platinum 100. I cannot be more proud of this one, being that it is my 100th Platinum. As well as the difficulty of the game, Red Dead Redemption 2. Absolutely fantastic. If, if they port it over to the PS5 and make a PS5 version, I will not be platinum it. No, I would rather rip my face off. I would, I would actually rather do the cheesy method of just porting all the trophies over and getting an instant platinum than doing it again. One and done. I'm happy with it being one and done. I'll leave it at that. As you can see, chapter one, I earned on the 26th of uh, October 2018 at 2 am this was the first trophy earned just a scratch which is um uh, at 20 to 1 in the morning on the 26th you will see a lot of different years throughout this planning you see 2018 there 2022 is there 2023 is there there's a good chance you might see 2020 in here as well somewhere i'm not too sure if you will because i played a lot of the online around that time yep there we go 2020 is there so spanning over a lot of years, we finally got it. Legend of the West. If you guys haven't watched the Legend of the West video, uh, Legend of the West video, the Red Dead Redemption 2 Platinum video, go and check it out. Um, proud of it, and yeah. There it is, guys. 100 Platinums. I feel like this is kind of a, uh, a checkpoint on the channel. We've hit 100 Platinums. Now it's next to do a bunch of games that I've always wanted to do. New games, older games. And yeah, I've got some really fun ones coming for you guys. That's the reason you haven't seen my PlayStation 5 home screen because I've got the games downloaded and I don't want to ruin it for you guys uh, because I know a lot of people like the, the suspense of what game is going to be next. Uh, and yeah, just a huge thank you for the support on this channel. Over 5,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely insane. Uh, and yeah, there it is. 100 Platinums spread over more than 13 years. Now, I know there are people out there with a 1,000 Platinums. I know there are people out there with zero Platinums. But regardless, if you are a trophy hunter or you're an achievement hunter or you just enjoy the videos or you enjoy the trophy hunting yourself, that's all that matters to me. It's not about the number, but I just thought the 100, nice round number to do a recap of all of my Platinums. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.